Hi, welcome to Photography Studies College. My name is Whitney and I'm the Future Students Coordinator here at PSE. Today, I'm going to give you a guided tour of our college and introduce you to some of PSE's key staff. Now, we've just moved into this brand new campus located in the heart of the Montague Arts Precincts. This area is full of creative industries, photographic studios, and beautiful parks and cafes that our students love to hang out in before and after class. Let's have a look at the college. Hi, Phil. Hey, Whitney, how are you? I'm good, thanks, how are you? Good, thank you. It's good. So, Phil here, he is the team leader of our student services team. Phil, do you mind giving us a rundown of what your team does? Okay. So, yeah, the student services team is here to help you. We first protocol after enrollment, so that's everything from your ID cards, grades, timetables, if you need a hand with assignments or you need an extension, you can come and have a chat with the guy from the front desk. Because we are a specialised college, we're a bit of a smaller college, we really take pride in the fact that we know all our students on a first day basis. So if I'm a student here at PSC and I need help, who's the team that I go to? Come and chat to the guys on the front desk. We cover reception and student services. So there's always somebody here to help you whenever you need it. Awesome, thanks Phil. No problems. Now Phil, is Jill in today? She is, just put your head in, she's just in the library. Awesome, let's go have a chat to Jill in the library. You are going to love the library. Hi Phil, how are you doing? Hi Whitney. So this is Jill and she's the librarian here at PSC. Jill, do you mind telling us a bit about the library? Yeah, I'm really excited to introduce you to our new library. It's got beautiful light filled spaces. People can see as they enter, it's integrated with the reception area and the library floats right around the corner and there's lovely light filled nooks where you can sit and read books. Yeah, the hub really feels like the centre of the college. Just sitting here you have reception, you have the classrooms, you have the print shop. It's really immersive, the space. Yeah, that's right. And we're surrounded by books. Can you tell me a little bit about them? I've got about 5,000 print books here. Wow and um, they're mainly on art and photography. So, you know, various photographers, camera techniques, lighting techniques. Wonderful. And we have the British Journal of Photography here. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yes, yeah, so um, this is one of our most popular uh, journals and we've got back issues going back to the 1970s. Wow. <laughs> and our Dean of Photographic Studies, he is actually um, one of the contributors. And he sometimes even gets our students printed in here, which is just fantastic. What a great opportunity. And if I am a student and I cannot find a book that I need to find, what do I do? If you're really struggling, you just come along to me, let me know the title, author. It's my challenge to find it. You really look after the students. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Try my best. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Jill, for talking about us about the library. Um, we're going to have a chat to Dan in the classrooms now. Okay, bye. bye. Now we are going to find Daniel Baker Smith, the Dean of Photographic Studies here at PSC. You can see that all of our classrooms are light filled, and we also have short throw Epson projectors so that our students can see their own images in really high quality. Daniel, he's the Dean of Photographic Studies here at PSC. Now I guess for our Year 12 school leavers, we offer two main courses, the Certificate 4 in Photography and Photo Imaging and the Bachelor of Photography. So Dan, give us a rundown of the Bachelor of Photography. So the Bachelor of Photography program is a three-year course. It's the only one of its kind in Australia and in fact in the Asia Pacific region. Um, it's an intensive photographic course, which means that all of your subjects are taught by photographers. Um, even the video classes, the business classes, uh, the mentorship classes are all delivered by photographers. Yeah, that's good. Um, we also focus a lot on the industry, so we spend a lot of time working with mentors, working with external partners. The Bachelor of Photography is a three-year course, so Dan, can you tell me what those three years look like? Three years are really structured in terms of the first year is very much around getting the technical and practical skills around photography, using your camera, using a range of different lights, getting into the studio, but also getting to be aware of the software that photographers use on a professional basis. Um, we also then start to reach out and start to think about the industry in the first year, and you start to think about where your future in photography lies. 
The second year is very much experimental, so we start to get into advanced studio lighting, retouching, uh, photo book publishing and magazine publishing. Uh, we get into video and vi uh, visual journalism in a big way. We also have a number of partnerships with international partners, so uh, festivals, uh, uh, galleries, and, and, and different events overseas. And we've had students and staff featured in those. And then the third year, then you specialize in either photojournalism, art, or commercial. Um, and in those majors, you specialize with a teacher from that industry, and you have a mentor from that industry, and you start to actually get real world experience in that industry. Um, so we're really focused on launching the students into the industry while they're still studying, not waiting until they leave and then trying to get into the industry, but actually folding them into the industry during the third year. How do your PSC graduates go once they have left PSC? In the third year of the course, we specialise in helping students find job applications and grant applications for funds to support themselves doing exhibitions and books, and also applying for jobs in the industry. Every year the students are surveyed by the Australian Government, and last year we had an 80% graduate employment rate from graduates from this course, which is fantastic. And actually a lot of the students in the third year are already working in photography. Now, the other course that we offer for Year 12 graduates is the Certificate 4 in Photography and Photo Imaging. Mm. Can you tell us a bit about that one? The Certificate 4 is a 20-year program. It's basically designed for students who are coming to photography fairly fresh. It's very vocationally and technically focused, and it's really designed to introduce students to the technical aspects of photography and to prepare them for working in photography or to go on to study in the Bachelor of Photography program. Now, what are the differences between the students who go into the Bachelor versus the students that go into the Cert 4? So, the Bachelor students generally are Year 12 uh, leavers or mature students who are interested in photography. Uh, the Cert 4 students are often students who haven't done much photography before. And it's really a way of them getting those practical, basic skills in photography to then move on into the bachelor level course. So what you're saying is the Cert 4 is kind of like a stepping stone into the bachelor if someone's not quite ready yet? Yeah, definitely. We get people into the Cert 4 from all different backgrounds, all different ages. Um, students who are really uh, have always been passionate about photography but never had the opportunity to study. So that's really where they come from. Awesome. So I know you're just about to start teaching the Zoom class, so I won't hold you up much longer, but can you tell us about the teachers that teach at PSC? Yeah, well, we've been lucky enough to collect teachers from all over the industry uh, and they're industry leaders. Most of our teachers work part-time here and are working in photography on the other days. We have photographers who work for The Age, who shoot for The Washington Post, for The Guardian. We have fashion photographers who shoot for a range of international magazines. We have curators and publishers from all over the world um, who input into the courses through mentorships and through teaching. Uh, and we really have Australia's top photographers teaching at the, at the college through our Bachelor and Cert 4 programs. Well, you've got a Zoom class to teach, so I'll leave you to it. But thank you for telling us about the courses. Now we are going to talk to Peter in the fruit shop. So Peter, can you give us a little bit of a rundown about the yeah, sure. Um, well, welcome to the print shop. My name's Peter and I have been running the print shop for about nine years now. I have been in the industry for over 20 years, specialising in fine art printing and also working with prologues. And Peter, do you mind telling us what kind of gear you have in the print shop? Yeah, awesome. I'm um, really proud of our gear. We predominantly use Epson printers and we have wide format printers up to 64 inch so that we can print anything beyond two to three metres in length. But as well as that, we have a number of desktop printers that are ideally suited for flat sheet printing. So students do print a lot of A4s and A3s as well. Well, do you mind if we have a look inside the print shop? Sure, come through. Awesome. Follow me. I'm excited to see what's in the print shop. Hello again. Hey. Hey. So there's a few prints on the table here. Do you mind giving us a bit of a rundown of what they are? Well, the print shop not only does work for students, but we also do a lot of work for external clients. And um, this project here was photographed by an artist called Roan. He's actually a graffiti artist. And we show this to students because it's really important for students to start thinking as a collective project, putting all their images side by side and looking at how they sync together. And I see that over here we have one large print and one smaller print. Do you mind telling me what the difference between these two prints are? Sure. 
basically this is something that we start pretty much from raw stage and we have a conversation with the artist or with the student about their idea their intent what is it they want to say within the image themselves then it's the use of photoshop and post-production to enhance that concept in this particular case it's about pulling this subject from the background because as you can see from this shot it's a little bit muddy um, it doesn't really pop whereas something like this the subject really stands strong but it's not over the top it's still sympathetic with the idea and the intent I mean, looking at both of the images, I would have thought that was taken in camera and seeing it against this one, the difference is unreal. It's incredible, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, and it's a real eye-opener for students to experience this process. Well, Peter, thank you for showing us the print shop. My pleasure. And I'll take you on a tour for the rest of the college. Thank you. Thank Bye, you. Peter. Bye. Now we are going to look at the DigiLabs. So the DigiLabs are integral to our photography studies here at PSC. In our digital classes, our students have brand new iMacs to learn on and they learn most of the Adobe products here at PSC. They start with Lightroom, learning how to categorize their photos and sort them. Then we move into Photoshop where they will learn retouching. And now we move into the moving image where our students start learning Premiere Pro and even a few other VR softwares. This gives our students the cutting edge when they go into the industry because they already have the experience with the software and the hardware to take their photography to the next level. Now we are going to see where the students hang out. All right, Steph. Oh, hey, Whitney. How are you doing? Yeah, good. Do you want to see? Oh. Yeah, of course. What do you like about the student lounge? Oh, it's it feels homely but like modern. It's a good space to hang out and just kind of chill between classes or before or after class. Yeah, and I find that in between classes, this place is absolutely packed. Pretty much. <laughs> How are you finding your final year here at PSC? So far, so good. Um, I'm sure that when it gets closer to fall year time, the stress will kick in, but I'm really enjoying working with my classmates because we get feedback not only from the tutors, but from everyone in the class. So you're not only listening to one person's ideas, but you're also helping them because you're giving them ideas. I guess it's a real collaborative work, you know? Everyone yeah. has their own individual portfolio but by bouncing ideas off each other and working together you know you celebrate each other's achievements and you grow in collaboration with your fellow students yeah definitely I mean we've all been together since like first year so this is the third year um so that bond has definitely strengthened a lot which is cool and yeah that doesn't feel like you're in competition with each other either because everyone's working on different ideas and projects and you celebrate like you said everyone else's successes as well as your own that's so lovely mm -hmm. well thank you for sitting down and having a couple with me i'll give these guys a tour of the other areas of our college but i'll see you around campus oh, see ya. so come with me we're going to see the rest of the college Hi Jill. Hi Willie. What are you doing here? Well, as the wellness coordinator here at PSC, I buy some fruit every week. Nice and healthy for them. And um, also for the morning afternoons, I've got a jar of snakes in the library so students can come along and grab a little sugar hit. Get some healthy so, sugar and some healthy, healthy sugar. sugar. <laughs> exactly. It all helps with creativity. Of course. And what are some of the other wellness things that we do here at PSC? So um, as the wellness coordinator, if students are feeling unwell while they're on campus, they can come to see me and I can arrange a doctor's appointment for them. Yeah. And um, if they're sort of feeling like they might need counselling, they can also come and see me. We have a little chat first and then I can make an appointment for them to go and see a counsellor. So, and then follow up as well to make sure that they're keeping well. So it's a really good job. That's lovely. That we've got going here. We really look up to the students here at PSC. Well, I'll leave you here at the library because we are going to go to the studio now. Okay, bye. See you. Bye.
Sağlarına iyi. Now we are going into the studio. Hey, guys, how are you going? Hello, how are you doing? Yeah, thanks. So, guys, this is Kat. She manages the studio here at Photography Studies College. Kat, can you tell us a little bit about the studio? Yes, it is large and beautiful. It's about 300 square metres, so we're quite lucky with the space that we have here. We divide it up by bays, so during our classes, because we have multiple students at a time, and we have one cycle around as well, which is great for company and for people coming here. Equipment wise, we're very, very lucky to be affiliated with Sun Studios and KL. We have the state of the art Bronco equipment and Alan Cobb equipment, so we're very lucky to have both of those two amazing companies by our side. And I mean, Sun Studios is just down the road. Oh, it's perfect. What has been the most interesting photo shoot you've had in the studio? A full head to toe of glitter. Spectacular. So I see you're setting up for a photo shoot. Yes. Do you mind if you take a photo or two of me? Never. Oh. Never mind at all. Jump on in. <laughs> have you done this before? No. <laughs> Once or twice. Once or twice. So, what kind of equipment are you using here? Yeah. Is a pulse like a beauty dish from our little care light to get that little shine shine happening. Two soft boxes on the side, we've got a backlight, and we're using the wrong colour of graphite and a sensor pack. And so then it goes straight to our computers. <laughs> yes, so we also work with Specular who resell Capture One. Every year they have a discount for students to purchase the software. No, the actual. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> Thank you, Kat, for showing yeah. us the studio. Come back yeah. anytime. <laughs> And that concludes our tour of Photography Studies College. If you have any questions on what it's like to study here at PSC or want to know more about the courses, just give the college a call and let them know that you want to speak to Whitney. Applications are now open for both mid-year intake and February intake. See you later.